Hi everyone and welcome back to Zoe at the Movies. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on Ad Astra. Sorry I haven't been posting in a while. That's because there, I haven't really had an opportunity to do much stuff. But there should be um, something that's coming up soon in the future. So let's get into it. I did really enjoy this film. Um, while watching it, I definitely felt like I was in outer space. That was basically the theme. And you feel like you're being transported throughout the galaxy. And I thought that was really cool and um, an amazing experience. But not only is this movie a great story, it is also just a roller coaster of emotions. This film is very immersive, but I honestly really, really enjoyed that. And for best results, I would definitely recommend seeing this in IMAX because I just feel like if you don't, it won't be like as cool and you won't get the full experience of this film. This film definitely puts me at the edge of my seat. It's very exciting and intriguing to watch. The pace of this film is generally slow, but there are lots of action peaks. Probably what I enjoyed the most is that in this futuristic voyage where imagination floats, the human condition remains grounded. In Ad Astra, it's basically about an astronaut named Roy McBride. He thinks that his father is dead. He lost him during a space mission. But after an accident that happens, these people, some like people tell him that his father has a possibility of being alive. So then the rest of the film is him on this like, huge journey or mission on trying to find this hopefully not dead father. <laughs> um, but I did love the acting and Roy McBride is actually played by Brad Pitt and I feel like he did an amazing job. He definitely brought life to Roy. At one point there's a car chase on the moon. Um, so Roy is kind of attacked by space, space pirates. And that was, I love that part of the film. That's probably my favorite part. I felt like that was so original and like I don't know, I feel like you only kind of hear about space pirates and like books and stuff, but the fact that they actually put that into the movie was, I love that. Another scene I really enjoyed is when Roy is recording a voice message to his dad. This is Major Roy McBride. I'm attempting to reach Dr. Clifford McBride. This is Dr. McBride's son. Dad, I'd like to see you again. I feel like the most technical aspect of this film is definitely the visual effects. It was amazing. As I said in the beginning, I felt like I was actually transported into outer space and I feel I felt like that because of how good the visual effects were and how realistic everything felt. And I feel like Brad Pitt, he not only did amazing, but he made me remember that humans are just the number one priority all the time like technology and that that's always going to be there but he, i just feel like he did such an amazing job with acting he definitely set, uh, set out a very powerful message and if you just want to see something different at the movie theater for once i would definitely recommend seeing this film because it's i feel like it was so original and unique and i love that about it Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me at my Instagram at Zoe at the Movies, and leave a comment if you want to. <laughs> Goodbye!